Thanks for watching Mid Morning this Tuesday. Two women are now on their way to graduating from the Army's Elite Ranger School. This is the first time in the 60 year history of the Army Rangers that women have earned the Elite Ranger tab. The women who have not been identified started the grueling journey back in April with hundreds of other soldiers. So it's the two women, 94 men who will be graduating from this program. But the real numbers, it was 381 men, 19 women who started out and it got whittled down. So obviously That's a much tough. larger pool of men, 25% of them mm -hmm. and about 10% of the women. Mm -hmm. Susan Elizabeth, these women are in incredible condition to be able to do that. To pass this program, they had to do uh, 49 push-ups and 59 sit-ups, and then they have to be able to do a five-mile run in 40 minutes, and that's just kind of the start of the list of qualifications. It is, it is, and I talked to you guys about this earlier, but I covered Fort Benning, and that's where the Rangers train. I was around those people, I heard their stories, and there would be times for a week at a time in the middle of February with like 20 degree temperatures, they would go for a week with just the clothes on their back, they would barely get any food and barely any sleep. So on top of these demanding requirements, they're not allowed to like recuperate. I, this is just the hardest of the hard. And they go from different states. I mean, the, the, at times they're at Fort Benning, but I, I was also reading that they'll go into the heat of Florida and try to s try to get them to sweat as much as possible and do these 12 mile walks in three For hours. Training. And yeah, yeah, it's just incredible what they have to go through. Again, when we looked at the numbers, way more men started out in this. Mm -hmm. It is still a men's profession in a lot of ways. It really is. Only 15% of the military is made up by women, specifically in the Army. And I lived also in a military town in Norfolk, Virginia. A lot of uh, members of the Navy living there. And I think privately, a lot of men in the military are against this. Publicly, they will say that they are for it, but privately, they're against it. There are some op-ed pieces that have come out even today mm -hmm. where a couple of male soldiers said, hey, I know these women aren't going to be able to continue on, but I wish that they would. I, I kind of, we're at a spot now that if they could complete the training and they were able to do this, let's let them continue. That's an important point you make. Unlike the 94 men that graduated, those two women aren't able to join the 75th Ranger Regiment. Uh, that force remains closed to women right so now. So it's still not an open gate. No. I mean, it's not equality to, to put that word out there right now. I mean, they still, they can train, but they still can't fight in the same line. But and seeing it, that two women mm -hmm. have been able to do this, do you think we're gonna see larger classes now of women trying to pass I think the school? So. I, I hope totally so. Think Don't you so. hope so? Totally. And it really comes down to can they pass the physical test that they're enduring? Right. And apparently, at least two of them can. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, here is 